Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of a cylinder. So a cylinder um, has uh, one characteristic that is very similar to prisms, is that uh, it has two bases. So the two bases for a cylinder, so this isn't a base because it could still roll, but this is a base because it could still, it stands on there, and this is a base right here. Uh, so, uh, using that information that it's very similar to a prism, the only reason why this is a, a prism, it's not considered a prism because um, a prism, all of these edges are straight line segments. Okay, here there's some curves, there's a lot of curves here, so this is not a prism, it's a cylinder because it's two bases are circles. So, Anyways, we're still going to use the formula for the surface area of a prism because of the fact that it has two congruent bases that are parallel to each other. So, the formula for the surface area of a prism and a cylinder is 2B plus PH. Uh, so, let's review really quick. The B stands for base area. The two is for the two bases. The P is for base perimeter. And the H is the distance between the two bases. But some of you guys are thinking, wait a minute, the base is a circle. Uh, can we change this letter instead of P? Uh, what's another word for perimeter of a circle? Well, it's circumference. So let's just change that letter to 2B plus C H. Uh, the B stands for base area, the C stands for circumference of the base, and the H is still the distance between the two bases. Uh, so we're still using the same formula, we're just changing uh, a letter, but it still does the same thing. So let's look at what we have here. Uh, so our two bases are these two circles. Uh, so this one, and this one. So let's find the area of one of these circles. If you guys remember, uh, the formula for the area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi radius squared. So they give us the radius, which is six. So we'll just plug that in. Pi times six squared. But six squared, 36 and pi. Don't forget to write the pi there. Uh, so we'll, we'll plug this into here. We have two bases and the base area is 36 pi plus, okay, now let's find the circumference of this circle right here. Because remember the formula for circumference is two pi times the radius. The radius is six. So we'll just plug that in, two times pi times six. Two times six is 12, 12 pi. So now we have that piece of information for our circumference or the perimeter of the base. Base is a circle, so circumference, uh, which is 12 pi times the distance between the two bases, which is 10. So all we need to do is just start multiplying. Uh, so 2 times 36 is 72 pi plus 12 times 10 is 120 pi. Both of these have pi's in it, so we can combine these like terms. Uh, so 72 pi plus 120 pi is 192 pi's. Uh, and let's label it feet. And remember area is how many squares you can fit on the surface. So feet squared. So there's our final answer. One thing to remember is don't forget the pi because it's the final answer is 192 pi feet squared. Uh, so uh, if you forget that pi, it's totally wrong. So I'll show you on the calculator. Uh, so 192 times pi 
would be $603. So if you just wrote 192, that would be totally wrong because 192 pi is $603. Would you rather have $192 or $603? I would rather have both, but I, if I had to choose one, it'd be 603. So there's a big difference. Don't forget the pie. Uh, so uh, there's your final answer. The surface area of a cylinder is the same. You use the same formula as the surface area of a prism to be plus, but this time we'll use a C for circumference times the distance between the two heights. Um, and that's it. Good job.